Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Domino's Pizza. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley, here with Greg Hansen. Now, Greg, over the last couple of weeks, we've been counting down the top five athletes in Southern Arizona, leading up to Greg Hansen's Top 100, which runs in December. So far, we're only, what, five months into the year 2014, but we've already got a pretty good list. Right now, we are down to number two. Number two is, Greg? Elvin Cabet. All right. You got to tell the people, <laughs> tell the folks, because this is this is obscure but good. You were telling me off camera what a great story she is. Tell the folks. Elvin Cabet is about this big. <laughs> I bet you she's five feet, mm -hmm. ninety-five pounds, maybe a hundred pounds. She's a distance runner from Kenya. Mm -hmm. She's all personality. If you met her, you would like her. Mm -hmm. um, and she led Arizona's women's cross country team to second in the nation. Second. Whoa. Over Oregon, Texas, Arkansas, all those teams. Mm -hmm. And they won their first Pac-12 championship, mm -hmm. Melvin Cabet, Maria Larson, Nikki Corbin, and those mm -hmm. girls. I mean, once in a generation team at the U of A. Mm -hmm. And now she's come back um, this spring. She's got the fourth best time in the country in 10,000 meters, mm -hmm. but she's been injured, so she's not at her peak yet. Mm -hmm. She's timed it so that when they go to the NCAA championships in Oregon uh, in early June, mm -hmm. she, she might be the favorite to win the 10K, and that would be... And that would be a good story. Wow. It, Greg, tell me, how did James Lee and Fred Harvey find El Elvin Kibet? Well, James Lee, who is one of the top two or three distance coaches in the country, mm. had Bernard Legat at Washington State mm. 15 years ago. And Bernard Legat is from Kenya. Mm. So he worked his contacts in Kenya. Mm. That's where he got Lowry Lelang, who's mm. the best distance, college distance runner in America right now. Mm -hmm. So he's over there. And Elvin Kibet's two big sisters are world-class level distance runners. One of them was in the world championships mm -hmm. um, two years ago, I believe. So he sees the bloodlines, and even though Elvin Cabet had not done anything really in Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, she grew up on a farm. Mm -hmm. um, he recruits her. She comes here, starts from scratch, and now she's world class. Wow. This is Greg Hansen's video notebook brought to you by Domino's Pizza. Greg, it seems like the U of A track team always has somebody with this great backstory discovered from middle of nowhere. If you look at Julie Labonte, the, their all-world thrower, you know, she sent letters yeah. from French-speaking Canada to people and came here and had to learn English. And how are the track coaches able to find these people seemingly from all corners of the earth? They have to be resourceful so much. Uh -huh. Craig Carter, the, the throws coach in track and field, mm -hmm. as you said, did emails mm -hmm. with a French-speaking Quebecan. Yeah. Is that what it is? Quebecian? Quebecois? There we go. Julie Labonte, and now she's America's top college shot put thrower. Uh -huh. That's just what they do. Mm -hmm. I mean, Craig Carter goes to Europe in the summer looking for people. Mm -hmm. um, so does James Lee. Mm -hmm. It's Maria Larson, um, who he got out of Sweden. Mm -hmm. If it's not Sweden, it's Switzerland. <laughs> I should know, but I think it's Sweden. Sure, I think it's Sweden, yeah. Anyway, he got her last year. She came into college as probably the top new steeplechase runner in America this mm -hmm. year. So they have to do that. Mm -hmm. There are worse things to, to do over your summer than travel to Europe looking yeah. for athletes. That's pretty great. Don't know if I'd want to go to Kenya. But. Yeah, I think the horror stories, I mean, you've talked to James Lee throughout the years of just the sheer amount of travel and stress involved getting out there. Oh, yeah. And the stories that the people tell when they get here. Elvin Cabet was telling me, you know, when she flew into Tucson, this is the first time she'd stepped on soil other than Kenyan soil. Mm -hmm. She shows up here. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine doing that? You don't know a college? soul? You're 5,000 miles away from home? The best part of the Elvin Cabet story is she is a almost a four-point student, and mm -hmm. she is determined she's going to go to medical school. Wow. She's going to go home and, and help in the fight against AIDS wow. and social diseases there. And that's going to be her best story. Even if she wins the NCAA title in the 10,000 meters this mm -hmm. month, that will still be her best story. Well, and that's what you love to see in these college athletes is people who use this as a springboard to, to making a real difference right. in, in the world. Greg, if you added my college GPA and your college GPA, would we get her college GPA? Let's see, 1.9 and 1.8. <laughs> it's still too yeah. short. Till, she's still got us both beat. This is Greg Hansen's Video Notebook brought to you by Domino's Pizza. Tune in next time. Greg, we've counted down the top four. Now we're going to get to number one, the top athlete in Southern Arizona through the first five months of 2014. Here's a hint. It's not Nick Johnson. It's not Aaron Gordon. It's not Kadeem Carey. Got any guesses? Tune in next time and find out. We'll see you then.
At Domino's, we're slowing down to make our handmade pan pizza the right way, taking our time to hand press the fresh dough into the pan, adding two layers of cheese, and slowing our ovens down to get the crust golden and crispy. So try a Domino's handmade pan pizza with two toppings for just $7.99.